Happy New Year's, folks, sort of. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you about how spirits are like processing spirits. Um, so basically, my name is Kat Webb, and I run a blog called Psychopomp Life, where I discuss different aspects of living and working with the crossroads of the living and the dead. And so right now, well, it's not technically New Year's, our ancestors used to see this as a time of regeneration and rebirth because the harvest was coming to the end, and when the harvest comes to the end of the season, it is the time for sacrifice and offering. So what they would do is they would leave things to go to rot in the fields so that it would have ensure nutrient production for the next season. So this was actually seen as part of the new year cycle. And actually, it's a period of time between now and uh, solstice, winter solstice. So it's actually a period of time where we are allowed to just sort of sit in the darkness and root into ourselves and root into our trust and our knowing. Now, this is where it kind of gets interesting because for psychopomps, we process spirits. What happens when we process spirits is that it's exactly like processing alcoholic spirits. It affects our liver. So there may have been psychopomps who woke up this morning who didn't touch a drop last night may have felt very, very hungover this morning. So we're going to talk about some basic psychic hangover remedies um, that could be helpful to people who are not just psychopomps, but energy aware or psychic uh, intuitives, people who may not be on the psychopomp sphere, but because the veil is thin are more susceptible right now to these um, influences affecting our livers, affecting our um, dream states affecting our connection with ourselves and our relationships. So um, if we woke up feeling grouchy this morning, first thing is we need to be kind to ourselves. Just we're, we're going through a process and we are all witnessing that our ancestors are coming back in a really big way right now. Um, I've had people come to me who aren't psychopomps who are experiencing this kind of stuff too. So it's, it's across the board right now. So first thing, be kind to yourself and be kind in relationship to others because you know you don't know how much they're processing on their ancestral line. And there's scientific uh, data that's now showing us that we are connected to our ancestors' storylines back 14 generations. So there's a lot of energy that's becoming aware once we are accepting of this truth that, that's, that's in our DNA that's stored within ourselves. Um, so the next thing is you need to, when you're dealing with liver stuff, you need to drink lots of water. Make sure that you're thanking your water. Um, use Dr. Emoto. Uh, Google Dr. Emoto if you don't know who he is. He's amazing. And um, thank your water. Bless your water. Um, ask your water to cleanse your system. The next thing that you're going to want to do is have a small amount of dark chocolate. Now, the reason why I recommend this is actually, I got it from Harry Potter, but it's actually quite accurate. Um, once, once I kind of realized that, that there's this um, energy connection to plant medicine that comes from the, the dark chocolate and the sacredness of it, if you take a small square of dark chocolate and bless it and thank it, it will help you clear a lot of that sort of hangover um, when you wake up, when you wake up, that psychic hangover. Um, next thing that you're going to want to do is check out some basic liver detox herbs. Um, the ones that I would recommend that are kind of gentle, but you want to go like really, really slow on is uh, things like dandelion, sorry, dandelion root and turmeric and red clover. Those are three sort of gentle um, anti-inflammatory uh, tonics that you could take um, if they work with your system. Um, so the, the reason why I wanted to come back to the sacred partying is because back in the day, we would, um, because it was the ending of the year and the beginning of the cycle, we witnessed that this rot was happening in the fields that we could take advantage of to fortify our future. So this was the time of seeds being planted for the future, even if it was just the future lying um, nutrient base 
for the future. So this is what we're really looking at right now is um, paving the way and really honoring the ancestors who paved the way for us to go forward in a good way, making a sacrifice of these things that they could eat through the winter um, to actually fortify the ground and fortify Mother Earth for the future, for our future children. So these are just good things to keep in mind at this time of year. And, you know, be gentle with yourself, be kind with yourself. You know, honor that this is a big time of year for an ancestor party, that our ancestors are here. They're here to support us. They're here to witness us. They're here to share our stories. And they're here to heal, just like we are. And so be gentle with yourselves and be gentle with your stories and be gentle with each other. Big love and thank you for all doing this heavy lifting at this time. I know it's a lot, but we're in it together. Big love. Much gratitude.